Hello everybody, VP17 here and I'm back with another episode of A Link to the Past. Now in the last episode we got our pendant and now, um, our last pendant I should say. And now we are heading off to go get the Master Sword. Now it's easy to just, you know, save and quit and then start from your house or the sanctuary. But, um, uh, from here I started from my house. And we haven't been here in like a while, so, you know, might as well just show it. Uh, I guess I sh could have shown the sanctuary as well, but, you know, you can't, what can you do? You can't always show everything, can you? Um, now, the Master Sword in this game, it doesn't look anything like, you know, the Twilight Princess version or anything. Okay, thank god it's gone, or he's gone. Um, it's like red or something. Um, it's like red, I guess, pills and then just the sword itself, and it doesn't have like a, uh, how can I say, a, um, uh, a little triforce on the blade, at least I don't think it does. But, anyway, you know, we found another piece of heart. So that should be our ninth one. And speaking of nine, we have nine hearts, heart containers, I believe. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Nine heart containers. You know, just uh, eleven more containers to go. Now, there is an easier way to get to the master sword, but this way, um, I'm I'm coming this way so I can get a piece of heart that I previously missed, and here's another one that we can't get, or at least not until now, so we'll just come back for that one. Now, um, you know, the heart containers are split, you know, between the light world and the dark world, uh, that's what they're called, but... No, obviously I will show all of them because I am going for 100%. Even though this is a let's play, but you know, every time I play something, I uh, I do it 100%. Always, no matter you know how many times I've played it. Now this is the bottom floor of this is actually a thieves hideout, and this guy he tells us that there's this um, guy near the desert. X member, but he'll come in, you know, he'll help us uh, later in our adventure. But anyway, let's just make our way to retrieve our Master Sword, you know, because we need to get powerful, you know, to beat Aghanim, that evil wizard, the one who um, transported Zelda away. Now that thing right there, the the thing you saw moving like right there was a thief actually, and if he hits you, you can take like money, bombs, arrows, you know, some of your items. Something, 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 something. No. As you can see in the sprite, it looks a little red and then blue. The hero's triumph on Cataclysm Z wins three symbols of virtue. The master sword he retrieves, keeping the knight slime true. Now, let's get the boomerang and let's get the master sword. So, Hasrala's voice echoes from the void. You say you have done well to obtain the evil banishing blade, the Master Sword. The power that shines in it is now yours to wield. With it, you should be able to thwart the magic of the evil wizard Aghanim. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, you say. Okay, so um, with the Master Sword, you, um, when your health is full, you can throw these beams which can hurt your enemies, but, you know, I think it deals, like, half damage. You say, help soldiers are coming to the sanctuary. I... Okay, so I guess Zelda needs our help. Now, here, 
you can just save, you know, quit and start from the sanctuary, but I wouldn't, well, I don't want to do that, you know. But, you know, having your beams can, you know, um, can help a lot, especially in some dungeons, I guess. Because, you know, if you don't want to use your boomerang or if you need a certain item equipped while you're fighting like an enemy, you know, you can use your beams instead of like your boomerang or bomb to hit a like, switch. And then, you know, you can use your item if there's a, that, an enemy that's like annoying you right now. Or not, 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 not that's annoying you. But now, stupid green wop effect. Now, let's just make our way to the sanctuary, you know, let's rescue Zelda. Rescue our lovely princess. Or not, you know. Um, if you go to the sanctuary, um, the priest guy, he's basically like, um, laying down. So, I guess, obviously that means he's dead. But, um... He like tells you you have to rescue Zelda, you know, basically like come back to the castle. And like after he stops talking, he disappears. So, you know, I guess to the great beyond, obviously. And yeah, now he, he just leaves you, you know, with rescuing Zelda. Now, you might wonder, you know, where can I go? You know, I've been to every room. Well, if you come over here and hit this, uh, like, zappity Rodom looking thing. You know, you can uncover more of the... How can I say it? The, uh, castle, you know. And here's some of these fallen changes that are really annoying to kill, because, you know, you can't really stun them, or you can stun them, but not, you know, long enough to, you know, kill them in an instant, see? Uh, it's, I guess, the max you can stun in, like, seconds, maybe? I don't know. But, you know, the magic boomerang, you know, it helps. It has its use of, you know, longer stuns, and, I guess, more damage. Now, I advise, you know, using a spin attack. Just so you won't, uh, I guess, you know, just smash the attack button. Um, and I, I do apologize for all the darkness in here. Um, you know, it's just the dungeon layout. You know how, you know how some dungeons are very like dark and it's annoying. You know, especially if you're doing a video on them because. You know, the only thing you could really see is like part of the, I guess, uh, video, you know, or your the game. But in most games, it has to have that dark area. So, um, I mean, you can light these things, obviously, to make it brighter. I'll help you see where the things are. But honestly, I wouldn't. I personally, because I guess I know how to. I know where most of mostly everything is. You know, I can just you know, walk in the darkness. But I'll light it up for you guys. I guess you can see everything. It's like a, it's like a maze, I guess, but not really. No, it's not too hard. But you know, you should have at least full health. I mean, you can always use a fairy, you know, that you may have gotten. You know, just so you can have your beams. But, I mean, you don't always have to have your beams. You know, it's just a nice little touch that they did. But, um, yeah, but like I said, you know, just uh, have a, a spin attack ready. And, uh, just so you can defeat foes easily. Now, What's kind of bad that I, I guess they could have added was like if you like once you get the master sword, um, like yeah, 
and you could do a spin attack, you know, I just wish they could have, like, made it to where, like, the, I guess, the little beam of light would, like, go around you, you know? Like, I guess, you know, if you guys play Skyward Sword, you can, you know, do a, uh, yeah, Skyward Strike and then do a spin attack, it would kind of go, I guess, to the side. And, um, uh, you know, I wish they could have just done that, but, you know, you can't, what can you do, right? I mean, it's not like they could go back and change it. But, you know, this game does have, you know, it's pros and cons, you know, every game isn't perfect, you know, er and everything or anything in life isn't perfect, you know, um, you know, just, uh, you know, just, uh, appreciate what you get, and, yeah. Uh, even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard, uh, you find a way to turn his magic back to a bat. Basically, you know, um, how did that not stun him? I'll just like that. Whatever. Um, basically, you just have to return, you know, uh, Agonim's magic back at him, you know, when he throws it. Now, this thing is like a. Like a key, it's a bat, but it has an eye, so. Yeah. Um, I don't even, you know, I don't usually put the names on it, but. I only do it for Dungeon, so. Yeah, I don't know. Don't worry, it don't be like, oh, you made a mistake, you didn't put the info for the name of that name. Um, no, I only do that for Dungeons. Stop following me, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if you can hit him with your arrows. If you can, then boy, have I been struggling all these times. <laughs> but I guess we're getting weird. Yeah. Uh, said it wrong, or not wrong, but I said it weird. Um, we're getting closer to Aghanim, so you know, he can, I guess. You know, use your fairy to get, you know, your full heart, but the, the boss fight isn't that hard, dude. <laughs> wow, he just ran off the cliff. What a retard. You know, some of these enemies are so retarded. <laughs> oh, God. Let's explore. Aghanim! Return her! Aha, you said I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I thought I would make Zelda vanish before you. Behold, Princess Zelda's last stand or whatever. No, give her back. I will cut you. Yeah, no, what are you doing? Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so now you're Santa Claus. Now you're Santa Claus. Power of gold. Jerk, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah! Ah, where are you? There you are. <laughs> oh ho, you seem to want you to finish. Yeah, whatever. Okay, basically in this fight, he's just gonna teleport. And when he throws that type of. And then this. When he throws that type of energy ball at you, reflect it. But when he throws them. Um, like the six little blue dots. Don't really hit that, cause it can like spread when you hit it, and it could like hurt you. So you know, avoid that. And sometimes you may not get a hit. Oh, okay. Here he's gonna use lightning. So every time he goes in the center of the room and doesn't face you, that means he's gonna use his lightning attack. So um, I would advise you know just staying like in the corner, or not really in the corner, but um, like. You know, left or right, you know, stay somewhere there, and you, I guarantee you won't get hit. Um, but, yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, okay, he's gonna do his lightning attack. See, just stay in the corner, and he won't really hit you. Um, he takes like about, I think, five to six hits. I'm not really sure. But, you know, just. 
our fight isn't too bad. Um, like Sahasrala said, we can't inflict physical damage on him. But, yeah, um, there we go. I don't know why, but I just like, um, you know, just slashing at him. I know it doesn't do anything, but he uses his powers to send us to the dark world. You know, what a jerk. Um, place for a golden land, but evil power turns it into the dark world. So I guess this is where, like, the Triforce lay. Like when, um, uh, Aghanim touched it, or whoever touched it, uh, it became this dark world. And he's, uh, spread the seven descendants of the, the sages everywhere, so we have to go rescue them. And the first temple is actually, um, where our first temple. But I guess it's gonna make a video, you guys, so I'll end it here. So this is TP17, signing out.